Chapter 9.4, exercise 1 through 10, page 739. What we have here is really section 9.4, and that is the section of the book that has to do with sequences. And in exercise 1 through 4, find the first six terms and the 100th term of the explicitly assigned uh, defined sequence. And what explicitly has to do with really is a formula, an explicit formula we just plug in. So in this case, we have u sub n equals n plus 1 over n. So therefore, we could say that uh, just u sub 1, our first term, is going to be 1 in the place of n plus 1 over n, which is 1, which is going to be equal to 2 over 1, which equals 2. So that's going to be n sub 1. And then our u sub 1, excuse me, u sub 2 is going to be, we just plug in the 2, so we have 2 plus 1 over 2, which equals 3 halves, and we will not even simplify beyond that, just box that in, so that's our second term. u sub 3 is equal to 3 plus 1 over 3, which equals 4 thirds. So that's u sub 3. Third term, u sub 4 is equal to 4 plus 1 over 4, which equals 5 fourths. And u sub 6, or u sub 5, excuse me, is equal to 5 plus 1 over 5, which equals 6 fifths. You see what, as we as the sequence progresses, you see what number is being approached? Our sixth term, u sub 6, is equal to 6 plus 1 over n, which is 6, which equals 7 six. So that's going to be our sixth term. And our 100th term is going to be u sub 100 equals 100 plus 1 over 100, which equals 101 divided by 100. And we say the sequence, I'm going to abbreviate sequence, approaches the number 1 as n approaches infinity. All right, so it gets close. And we'll get closer and closer to 1, never quite touching. Okay, we go to problem number 3. Next item, problem C sub n equals n cubed minus n. So, we have, as explicitly, so C sub 1 is equal to 1 cubed minus 1, which equals 1 minus 1, which equals 0. C sub 2 is equal to 2 cubed minus 2 which is equal to 9 minus 2 equals 6. So there we have our first term at 0, second term at 6. Our third term, c sub 3, is equal to 3 cubed minus 3, which equals 27. At 27, minus 3 which equals uh, 24. Yeah, I'm recording a video right now. How's your golfing? Oh, man, that's great. I got another day of it tomorrow. This is by the wind. Okay. Just wanted to come back and let you know. Thanks. Student coming in to report? Yes, thank you. Good luck. Yes, student reporting in for Miss Golfing Expedition. Sounds like he was successful at it. Okay, we have 4 cubed, which is 4 times 4 times 4, which is going to be 64, minus, I said minus 3, that's going to be minus 4, right? Minus 4. The 
equals 64 minus 4, which equals 60. And C sub 5, our fifth term is going to be 5 cubed minus 5, which equals 125, 5 times 5 times 5, 125, minus 5, which equals, what is that? It's going to be 120. Is there some kind of pattern here? Yes, there is. I'm not going to really go into it. Our sixth term, C sub 6, is going to be 6 cubed minus 6. And 6 times 6 is 36 times another 6 is 216 minus 6, which equals 210. So that is our sixth term. And our 100 term is going to be C sub 100 equals 100 cubed minus 100. Now, what you have here is if we go to our calculator, we can see that 100 cubed minus 100 is, well, well 100 cubed is going to be 1 million. So minus 100 is just 100 less than that. So we can just write in 999,900. So that's going to be C sub 100. I'll just write that in. Okay, back to, on to problem number five. Find the first four terms and eighth term of the recursively defined sequence. And so you have recursively is sort of like repeating patterns. So you don't have a, an equation you can exactly plug in for. So in this case, you have for n is greater than or equal to 2. So if we have a sub 2, right, that's going to be a sub 2 is going to be that, and equals to a sub n minus 1, 4. So our first term, a, a sub n minus 1, which equals a sub 1, right? n is 2 minus 1, which equals a sub 1. That's going to be 8. That is our first term. For a subsequent term, we take a sub 2 is going to be equal to 8 minus 4. We go down 4 recursively. We're going to get 4, value 4. Uh, a, sub, a sub 3 is going to be going down another 4, so subtract another 4, so we get so my box in for 0. Okay, A sub 4 is going to be equal to 0 minus 4 or negative 4. So negative 4. And then as far as A sub 8, we have a pattern. Right? So we're going down 4 every time. So negative 4, negative 4. If we went down, let's see, A sub 1 is 8. If we went down 4 more times, we would get, but we can get a little formula for this. We could say um, A sub 8 is going to be equal to our starting amount, which is 8, which is going to be, and then plus negative 4 times 7. All right, so we're going down for every time and 7 times because because uh, a sub 1, that's going to be first term, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we take 7 intervals, so we're going to have 8 minus 28. So we say a sub 8 is equal to negative 20. So that's a sub 8, negative 20. Okay, uh, next other problem, problem 7, we have b sub 1 equals 2 and b sub k plus 1 equals 3, b sub k. So we're going to say uh, b sub 1 is equal to 2, and b sub 2, our second term, is going to be this, this 2 
times 3. So 3 b sub k. I'm going to put it in the right order. Okay, I'm going to put 3 times 2 like this, which is equal to 6. So our first term is 2. Our second term is 6. Our third term, b sub 3, is equal to uh, our, our second term times Wait a second, wait a second, hang a second. Six, that's right. So, it'll be three times that, right? So, let's see, three. Let's just go ahead and put three times six. Three times B sub K. Yeah, B sub K is six. So, we have 18. And that's going to be our third term. Our fourth term is going to be b sub 4 equals 3 times 18, which equals 54. And for this, I'm going to find b sub 8. We could keep on going, but there's sort of a pattern here. I'm going to try to turn this kind of into an explicit one. If we have... 2 times 3 to the 0 power, that'll be our first term, which equals 2, check. And for this one here, 6, we have 2 times 3 to the first power is equal to 6, which is 2 times 3. For the next one, we have 2 times 3 to the second power, which is 2 times 9, which is 18. And for this, this fourth term, we have 2 times 3 to the third power, which is 2 times 27, which is 54. So that checks out. So b sub 8 equals 2 times 3 to the 7th power. Okay, which equals, and we go to our calculator, we get 2 times 3 to the 7th power, 4,374. So we go back here. 4,374. So I kind of cheated a little bit on this by creating a formula, but in doing these sequence and series problems, you try to make equations that you can to make your life easier. Problem 9. Uh, we have c sub 1 equals 2 and c sub 2 equals negative 1 and c sub k plus 2 equals c sub k plus c sub k plus 1. So we, we're given these terms already. So we have c sub 1, which is equal to 2. c sub 2 equals negative 1. Well, c sub 3 is going to be equal to c sub k plus c sub k plus 1. Well, in this case, c sub k is going to be c sub 1, which is 2, and c sub k plus 1 is going to be negative 1. So if we add 2 and negative 1 together, we get what? 1. And for c sub 4, we're going to add c sub k plus c sub k plus 1, which is going to be negative 1 plus 1, which is going to be 0. And we could try to get a formula to go all the, like we did for problem 7 to go up to uh, c sub 8, but in this case, it's beyond the limits of my current uh, ambition and maybe intelligence. I'll just be honest about it. So c sub k is 1. In this case, c sub k plus 1 is 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1. And c sub 6 is going to be c sub k is 0 plus c sub k plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. c sub 7 is going to be c sub k, which is 1, plus c sub k plus 1, which is 1, so we have 2. And c sub 8, which is our 8th term, is going to be c sub k, which is 1, plus c sub k plus 1, which is 2, which is going to be equal to 3. So we have all these values. In fact, what I'm going to do for this one is c sub 8 is 3, and we're just going to box in the ones that we were... We were specifically asked for. C sub 4 is 0, C sub 3 is 1, C sub 2 is negative 1, which was given, and C sub 1 was 2, which was also given. 
Anyway, that's the odd number of problems in section 1 through 10. Work through the even number of problems, and I hope this makes a little bit of sense. And we will see you the next time around. Thank you for viewing.